It was an extreme honor to wear the uniform of the United States military. I was very proud to wear the colors on my sleeve, to have the flag sewn on my shoulder. My unit was deployed to Southwest Baghdad. One day, there was a mortar attack, and mortars exploded no more than 10 feet to my right. I sustained a traumatic brain injury and developed post-traumatic stress disorder. A lot of us come home without realizing that we're bringing the war home with us. In a lot of cases, having an invisible wound that nobody can see, you're just not believed. I was experiencing severe anxiety. I couldn't focus, I couldn't remember how to do certain things. I started to sink down pretty deep. There came a night when I was in a really, really bad place. I didn't want to deal with it anymore. So I took out one of my knives, I set it to the side. I wrote a letter up on my computer and set it there on the desktop. And I went downstairs and I walked out the back door of the barracks. I smoked a cigarette in the rain. It was gonna be my last one. That's when I heard a little meow. This little black and white kitten comes walking out of the bushes. He just walked up and started rubbing up against my leg and let me pet him. I broke down crying, burst into tears. Maybe he knew that there was something I couldn't quite handle. I stopped thinking about all of my problems. And I started to think about all of his problems and what I could do to help him. Every day I went outside with a packet of tuna and a paper plate. He ate his food and hopped up on my lap. After a little while, he recognized my voice. I just had to walk out and I, I started calling him. This cat gave me something to look forward to every day. He didn't see anything wrong with me. He didn't see any sort of flaws or any imperfections. It felt safe. One day I got back after working. I started calling for him and there's no sign of him. When I found out that he wasn't around anymore, it, it devastated me. He had a, a serious effect on me. He helped me realize that I could actually not just care for somebody else, but other people could care for me. I started dating a girl named Becky I knew from high school. A few months later, we saw an adoptathon going on. Becky and I were walking through these two rows of crates. All of a sudden, a little black and white paw shoots out from a crate and starts smacking me in my left arm. I looked inside, and it's that same little black and white cat. <laughs> I opened up that cage and I pulled him out and I held him tight. So we signed the paperwork right then and there and I named him Scout. As the army was proceeding on my medical discharge, I was spending more and more time with Scout. He's becoming much more of an integral part of my life. My girlfriend, Becky, was still living in Pittsburgh. Being that Pittsburgh was our hometown for both of us, it was not much of a decision to move back home. About a year later, we were married. After I moved in with Becky and her three cats, it was a big happy family. It was a lot of fun. And Scott was there the whole time. He made me want to better myself. I got out on my bike more often. I stayed in pretty good shape. I ate healthy and quit smoking. Because I knew if I had a support network at home, even if it included a cat, then yeah, man, I could do just about anything. I went back to school. I've earned my master's degree in clinical rehabilitation and mental health counseling. I'm able to work with other veterans that need the type of help that I got. I'm not really able to serve active duty anymore, but working with vets, I'm still serving. I'm just serving in a different uniform. There's one day when Becky and I came home, Scout didn't meet me at the door like he normally did. I tracked him down and he was just acting so sluggish. So we took him to the vet and he tested positive for feline leukemia. We were able to get Scout a transfusion and that gave him about two weeks of time for us to spoil him. Until that night when he just could not catch his breath. We tried to take him to the vet 
I sat in the back seat with him. And before we even made it across the bridge, he passed away in my arms. It hurt so much. Even before he was my cat, before he even knew me that well, he saved my life. He put me on a different path. He gave me the confidence to try to come back from all the adversity that I was feeling. I don't go a single day without thinking about him. I think about all the stuff that he has afforded me a chance to do. That little kitten helped me realize that I wasn't just a sack of damaged goods. Scott was my battle buddy. He saved me. All I did was the paperwork. <laughs>